Do you have Nintendo games that just won't play? They might be dirty. I'm going to show you how to clean them the right way. Blowing on your Nintendo games might help temporarily, but over the long run, it's going to cause problems. Some people take some rubbing alcohol, a rag, put the alcohol in the rag, rub it on the contacts inside the game, and that works well for games that are just a little dusty, but if there's any bit of real dirt in there, it's not going to really do a whole lot. To clean a game properly, we want to open this up so that we have better access to the contacts. Some games have three screws, some have five. Some games just take a regular flathead screwdriver. You can unscrew those screws. Some games have a special security screw. You need a special security bit to get those out. Um, it's a 3.8 millimeter game bit bit. You can find them online for six to 10 bucks. You can also make your own bit um, by taking a flathead screwdriver or a flathead bit, uh, using a Dremel tool, a cutoff wheel, and a, um, you can cut a groove into the, the bit, um, and then a grinding stone to kind of make sure it, grind it down so that it fits in the holes. Then using whatever method you need to, you're going to unscrew the three or five screws on your game to get access to the insides. And the two halves will come apart. Inside here, this is the game. Quite a bit smaller than the, the case. What you want to do is clean these contacts on both sides very well. You can use the rag and rubbing alcohol. My favorite method is using a plain pencil eraser. You can use one of these fat ones or uh, one from a pencil and just erase the contacts and that'll get off a lot of the gunk well all the gunk hopefully um, that has accumulated on the contacts without really doing much damage to the contacts if it's really bad you can try some emery cloth or some very fine sandpaper the problem with that method is you will be eating away on this, these gold contacts. There's not a lot of metal there, and you, you could rub off too much, and then you are in trouble. Give it a good erasing, both sides. Wipe off the eraser dust, and the contacts should be nice and shiny. Then what we'll do is we'll just reverse the process, put the game back together. I'll screw these screws back in. And we'll go test it out. The game works and should last you many more years. If the video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date on my newest videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.